let's talk about the DJI Mini 5 Pro. This drone is not just another update, it's a leap, maybe the biggest leap in the history of ultralight drones. For years, flying something under 250 grams meant compromise. You got portability, yes, you avoided some regulations, sure, but you always gave up something in return. Maybe the image quality wasn't sharp, maybe the flight time was too short, maybe the gimbal didn't do what you needed. The Mini 5 Pro changes all of that. This is DJI saying we're done with compromise. It's not about making the lightest drone anymore. It's about making the most powerful drone possible, and still keeping it under that. 250 grams mark. A bigger sensor, the 1 inch advantage. Let's start with the most exciting part, the camera sensor. The Mini 4 Pro had a 1 1 1.3 inch sensor. That's already great for a sub 250G drone, but the Mini 5 Pro is jumping to a full 1 inch sensor. This change matters a lot. A larger sensor means more light. More light means better detail, better shadows, and better colors. Your footage will have richer contrast even in tricky lighting conditions like sunrise, sunset, or cloudy skies. If you've ever tried to shoot during golden hour and ended up with flat or noisy footage, this is your fix. You'll also see less digital noise and low light and sharper textures during daylight. And here's the kicker, the footage coming straight from the drone looks cinematic even without editing. Less color correction, less tweaking, just shoot and go. For creators this means faster turnaround. For hobbyists it means pre results without pro-level skills. Extended flight, time. More time in the air next up flight time. Drone pilots know the feeling. Your mid-shoot, the shot is looking perfect. And then the battery warning pops up. Time's up. Dot the mini. For Pro already offered up to 47 minutes with an extended battery. That was impressive. But the Mini 5 Pro, rumor suggests it can hit 50 to 55 minutes. That's unheard of for a drone this light. Think about what that means. You'll spend less time worrying about the battery. More time capturing. More freedom. To explore. Dot want to fly out further and still come back safely. You can dot want to reshoot something three or four times until it's just right. No problem. In fast changing conditions, like a sudden shift in clouds or a surprise moment you'll still be airborne. No panic, no rush. This kind of flight time lets you be more creative and more confident. A gimbal that goes all the way lets move on to something that looks small on paper, but changes everything in practice. Full gimbal rotation. The Mini for Pro had a great gimbal. It was stable, it was reliable but it couldn't rotate 360 degrees. With the Mini 5 Pro, that's no longer a limitation. This opens up new possibilities. You can do orbit shots. You can pan smoothly. You can switch from landscape to vertical without cropping. You can create more dynamic flowing shots in tight spaces or over epic landscapes. Want to follow a subject through winding trails? Want to shoot a mountain scene while spinning around? You can dot need a dramatic upward tilt to show the sky. Easy, it's not just stabilization now. It's full visual storytelling control. And for content creators, that's a huge win. Built in storage, a lifesaver for creators. Here's a problem you may have faced. You're out in the field, the location is perfect, the sun is setting just right. You power on the drone and get a message. No SD card, just like that. Your whole session is ruined. That changes with the Mini 5 Pro. It comes with 32 gigabytes of built in storage. That may not sound like much, but it's more than enough for emergencies. You can still record key clips. You can still grab that once in a lifetime sunset or a surprise moment. Don't. And if you're a beginner, or you forget accessories often, this internal memory becomes your safety net. It's not a replacement for a high-speed SD card, but it's a reliable backup and in the world of content creation. Backups matter. Hands-free control voice commands. Here s something futuristic, and potentially game-changing voice control if this feature makes it into the final version of the Mini 5 Pro. It could totally reshape how creators fly. Imagine you're recording yourself. You don't want to press buttons. You don't want to fumble with the remote. Now, just say, Start recording, take photo, return home and the drone listens. This is more than just a convenience. It's about fluid creativity. About staying in the moment without breaking your flow. For vloggers, solo travelers, and creators who shoot while on camera, this could be a dream come true. It also adds accessibility for people who may have difficulty with physical controls. Hands-free flying, minimal interruptions, maximum creative output. Mini 5 Pro vs DJI Air 3. The competition gets close. Let's talk comparisons. The DJI Air 3 is a beast. It's heavier. It has a dual camera system with both wide and medium telephoto lenses. Great for zoom shots. Great for professionals. But here's the thing. The Mini 5 Pro is catching up. It now has a 1-inch sensor. Just like the higher-end models, it has longer flight time. It weighs less. It fits in a backpack. And importantly, it's still under 250 grams. Yes, the Air 3 is still ahead in some ways. Especially if you need zoom or dual lenses. But the Mini 5 Pro is now close enough in quality that it becomes a serious option. Especially for travelers, YouTubers or solo creators. If size, weight and portability matter more than extreme. Zoom, the Mini 5 Pro might be the better by outclassing the competition Auto Nano. 
PLUS DJI is not the only game in town. Ortiel's Nano Plus is a key rival. It also flies under 250 grams. It has a 1.28-inch sensor close to the Mini 5 Pro. It performs well in low light. The footage looks solid, but the challenge isn't hardware. It's software. DJI dominates in experience. Their app is smooth, their flight modes are refined, their updates are regular, and their tracking systems are elite. Outl struggles to keep up here, the interface feels clunky, features lag behind. Tracking is less reliable. DJI offers features like active track quick shots, possibly voice control, advanced obstacle avoidance. These aren't just gimmicks, they make flying easier, smarter, and more fun. And when you're filming something important, that's what makes the difference. Under 250 grams, why that still matters, so I've mentioned this a few times already, but it's worth saying clearly being under 250 grams is a big deal in many countries. This means no registration, no license, no tests, fewer legal restrictions, you can just take it out of the box and start flying. This freedom is huge, especially if you're traveling abroad filming in public spaces, trying to avoid regulatory headaches, staying under 250 grams isn't just about weight, it's about access, it's about simplicity. And DJI knows that. That's why they've kept pushing the limits not just on hardware, but on what a sub-250 grams drone can really do, built for creators not just pilots here. S. The real philosophy behind the Mini 5 Pro. This drone wasn't made just for pilots. It was made for creators, people who shoot vertical video, people who want to post fast, people who want cinematic quality without hauling around heavy gear. The features prove it. Vertical shooting, full gimbal rotation, voice commands, internal recording, quick release propellers, every one of these helps you move faster, capture better, and focus on the story, not the setup. You don't need to think about the mechanics. You just fly, and the drone handles the rest. The price, is it worth it? All of this sounds amazing, but what about the cost? The Mini 5 Pro is rumored to start around $850 for the base kit, and over $1,100 for the Fly More combo. That's not cheap dot, but considering what you're getting a near pro level drone in an ultralight package, it might be the best value drone DJI has ever released. If you're a creator who travels light, shoots often, and wants top tier quality without the bulk, this might be exactly what you need. Wrapping up section 1, so let's pause here and reflect. The DJI Mini 5 Pro is more than just a small upgrade. It's a redefinition of what a lightweight drone can do. You get a full 1-inch sensor for cinematic footage, up to 55 minutes of flight time, full 360 gimbal control built in, safety features like internal storage, potential voice control, and all of it in a drone that weighs under 250 grams. This is DJI's boldest move yet in the compact drone space. And they've made it clear you no longer need to choose between power and portability. But the Mini 5 Pro you get both.